smells horrible. We're finding stuff like safes in this area. Oh, oh freaking go kart. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing some more magnet fishing. We are in a new area. We just drove an hour south of where we've been magnet fishing all week. We're gonna try to make something happen here. We are at a bridge right behind us, but it is completely blocked off on the other side. It looks like someone's already magnet fished here. We got some scrap on the side of the bridge. We will pick it up, but yeah, you gotta pick up your magnet fishing trash if you guys are gonna magnet fish. It looks like they got a couple things. We're gonna see if they left anything behind and we're gonna take care of this for them. So we're just gonna grab the magnets, get started. Don't forget to leave a like. Let's get right into the video. We're gonna go ahead and pick up all this stuff. Oh my gosh, man, that is so freaking heavy. It's like an electronics thing. Dude, this thing is way heavier than it looks. Like, you got any idea what this thing is? Three wire submersed motor. It's a motor. Yeah, those turn like well. Dude, motors, maybe. <laughs> they are really heavy, or at least this one is. It's some sort of motor. Bam, throw that one in there. That one was freaking heavy. We'll bend that down in a little bit. They got some stuff. We can get some stuff. Let's do it. Here we go with the first throw of the day. Let's see what they miss. Dude, this would be a good bridge to pull up something big because look, it's rounded. That rope went fray. Area monitored by hidden camera. Let's see, we got something coming right here. I don't know what it is just yet. Oh man, all right. Feels good to get something here. There's a rag like attached to whatever this is. Let's see, what are we working with here? I have no idea, but there is a rag attached to it as well. Or is that a sock? We got a sock attached to this piece of metal here. Good first find of the day. We'll put it in the bucket. We're gonna throw that spot again to see if there's any more stuff down there. Oh yeah, I got a little something here. It's nothing too crazy though. Just a couple little pieces of little crusty flakes. Oh yeah, I still got it here. What are we working with? I don't know what it is. It's like a little square piece of metal right there. Getting a lot of stuff in this left corner over here. Here we go, we got, oh, my biggest find of the day right here. This was like almost under the bridge. What is this thing? It's just freaking heavy. I think it's a motor of some sort. It looks like there's a wire attached to it. Ah! Oh! Jeez, oh, I don't know what it is, but it smells horrible. Oh, it's splashing mud everywhere. It's not a, I thought it was like a electric cord, but it's just like a belt maybe, or like a hose. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just say that this is a piece of a motor. All right, we'll take it first. Big find of the day. Oh yeah, I got a little something here. I think this is a piston. Hey Blake, is this a piston? The inside. It's rubber in there. It's rubber? Yeah, huh. that probably goes to those things where you got off the side of the road over there. Oh, the motors, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, I think I got a tape measure on this throw, uh, but I think we are gonna go ahead to another spot. I'm the only person finding stuff, and the stuff that I am finding, like this is the coolest thing I got today so far, is a tape measure. It is pretty cool though. Let's see if I can get it to come up. Nope, well, it just broke apart in my hands, but we're gonna go try another bridge that looks even better than this one. This isn't the spot I had marked, but this is the spot we're gonna try. There's a really big pipe right here, and it is on a fairly busy road, so we're gonna give it a shot and see what we can find. It's a good bottom, but I ain't feeling nothing. I ain't wasting no time. We got spots today. All right, we just made it to the next spot, and I do gotta say, this probably looks like the best spot that we've been to since we've been here, so we're just gonna get started. Hopefully, we can find some good stuff here. It looks like you got something. You at least going through some thick mud. Oh, finally! Chapter throwing so long on this side. I get a pair of like pliers. It actually looks like they're like brand new. Dude, these are like brand new pliers right here. Yep, that's definitely gonna make it into the magnet fishing toolbox right there. All right, well, literally the only thing we got over here was that pair of pliers, so we're gonna go jump to another bridge. Oh, I do have something. What do we got? Oh, I got a freaking flashlight. That thing was just dangling on there. I thought it felt a little bit heavier, but <laughs> I couldn't tell. We got a little flashlight. There we go, first find at this bridge. Uh, there's just a car driving in the water. Florida man in the wild. They don't use boats down here, they use F-150s. It's all fun and games until he finds the drop off. I got a little piece of rebar here, but that's about like the only thing besides that flashlight that we're getting here is rebar and nails. I think we're about to go jump another spot here. We are in a complete new location. We are still in Florida. <laughs> We're in a ritzy area right now. <laughs> we weren't finding anything in the area we're in, so we drove over three and a half hours. We got the magnet, we're just gonna get right into it. Hopefully, we can find some good stuff. We are a little bit limited by this pipe, but it's okay. It's just gonna get a little bit sketchy. These are very expensive houses. Let's see if we can make something here in this bougie neighborhood. See how fast someone, some Karen calls the cops on us. Oh, there we go, we got a little something. Is it a lighter? Oh, it's just a bolt. Dang it, I thought I had a lighter. I got excited. Actually, I think it's some sort of like trailer pin 
right here. Nothing too crazy, but at least we got something. We're gonna keep off that one. Well, we literally got one tiny little pin here, so we're just gonna go to the next spot. I think that's a manatee or something. I don't know, there's something big over there. All right, well, we just made it to the next bridge. It is super, super busy at this bridge, and we got a really big pipe on the other side, but I'm feeling a lot better about this spot than the other spot we were just at, so we're gonna get right into it. Freaking fish jumping. I got a tiny little piece of like a can. Oh my gosh, this water's so warm in here. Here we go, finally, my first click. Oh, I gotta get down further than I thought. Oh, what do we got? Oh, we got a safe. Let's go. All right, I got a freaking safe. It's my first find of the day. A freaking safe. Uh, uh. No. Dang it. Oh, I just dropped it. I think it's already been busted open. Oh, dang it, man. Let's get it, though. I got it again. Oh, all that, oh, that water's making it freaking heavy. Uh, got it. Let's go. We got a freaking safe. Uh. Door's already been busted open. Probably all been picked through and looted. Lots of shells and sand. Unfortunately, there was nothing inside, but this is still gonna help us out with our weight total. We're finding stuff like safes in this area already. There's no telling what else we're gonna find. We know this guy had to have a gun, right? He, ro he robbed him. He robbed the guy at the safe at gunpoint, right? That's what I'm thinking. Where is the gahone? Ah, oh, this feels like a stick. I got something, but I'm pretty sure it's a stick. Oh, no, it's not a stick. No, what was that? Oh, I just fell. All right, well, I just had something here. I'm gonna hop down. Dude, that pipe goes way up there. Oh, it's a bike lock. All right, come here. We got a bike lock. Oh, man. Yep. Someone cut the bike lock. That's a heavy duty, too. That's like a motorcycle bike lock, isn't it? Bro, that thing is heavy duty. Master lock didn't do too good if the freaking cable gets cut. We got a save and a cut bike lock so far. That's a good start, man. So we're not getting too much stuff over here, so I think we're actually about to jump across all this traffic and go try the other side. We only got two things, but luckily, the two things that we found were two really cool things. So we're gonna jump to the other side. And, oh, actually, we got three things. We got a little hat fishing hook on there. We can't forget about that. Ah, I just hooked onto like a pipe or something. Oh, dude, wait. This wasn't no pipe, I don't think. Oh, shoot, it's moving. This wasn't a pipe. It's just something freaking huge. Oh, there are the bubbles I was looking for. I guess I'm off my game today, y'all. Holy cow. I'm thinking we just try to snatch this off the magnet and then come back and scuba dive it tomorrow and see what the heck this thing is. It's so big, I don't think we're gonna be able to pull it up, but we're gonna try. Ah. Ugh. I'm telling you, this has to be a motorcycle. We'll take it though. We got something big down here, but unfortunately today we are running out of light. We just came out today to kind of scout out, but this is going to be the first spot that y'all are going to see tomorrow. We are going to come back and get this thing. It is big. My guess is a motorcycle. It is the next day and we got our swimming gear. We are going to take a look to see what the heck we hooked onto yesterday. I'm hoping that it's going to be a motorcycle or something cool like that. We're going to jump in and see what the heck this thing is and see if it's even worth it to get it up. Luckily, it's super warm water, so I don't have to put on a wetsuit or anything. I'm excited, man. Let's see what it is. Dude, it's an entire golf cart. It's the whole freaking golf cart, dude. Are you kidding me? Let's go, bro. We're getting this thing up. How did someone throw that in there? Are you freaking kidding me? It's an entire golf cart. Not a motorcycle, but just as freaking cool. We're gonna have to make a midday scrap run right here. We do not have room in our trailer for this golf cart. We're gonna go find a scrap yard, empty the trailer, have nothing in it, so once we pull this thing up, we'll be able to. But I think as far as the game plan is gonna go to pull this thing up, I'm gonna try to go back in the water, tip it up, right side up, and we got come alongs, and we're gonna just gonna try to come along it right up the bank with the wheels and hopefully the wheels still work. We're gonna get this thing today, man. I'm super excited. I ain't found something like this in a very long time. Y'all ready for the transition? Yeah. About to unload this stuff in a record time. Bam, just like that. We got everything all loaded, ready to go. Next time we see something in this trailer, it is going to be a golf cart. 740, that's way more than I thought we got. Six of one dollars. Let's go, baby. We ballin'. Say, give me my money, though. We are gonna get this come along. We're gonna wrap this chain around this fence post right here. We are just gonna slowly 
pull it up with the come along. I'm gonna go dive down there, tie the rope around it. And we're hopefully just gonna wheel it right up the bank. That's if everything goes smooth. Oh yeah, it's coming, it's coming. We ain't playing no games today, boys. Fresh rope right here. We're gonna get this thing. First step is going to be to get the go-kart right side up. Second step is gonna be dive down there, tie it up to an axle or something, and then start using the come along to pull it up. So right now, we're about to execute step one. It really doesn't look like it's been down there for too long. I'm really excited about this thing. It's definitely been down there for a minute, but it doesn't look like it's been down there for like years. <sighs> okay, I just saw it flip. We're good. We got it. First crucial step is done. Let's go pull this thing up, baby. So it looks like someone was just hauling ass down here, drove it into the river, took it for a little joy ride, but it is not in the best position for us. It's under the bridge but we can work with it. So right now, we are officially in step two of the plan. Go tie to the axle. Quick change of plans here. We're not gonna use the come along. <laughs> now that we got an empty trailer, we're just gonna unhook the trailer. We're just gonna use the car, man. All right, let's tie her up. Now we're just gonna pull forward a little bit, hope it doesn't flip back over. How do we look, falling? Yes! Dang it, man, I don't wanna break the rope. We just flipped it on its side. It was coming up, but then I had to back up and we lost all of the tension on the rope. Unfortunately, it is upside down. <laughs> Once we start pulling again, it's gonna flip it right back on its side. I hope it just didn't crush the top. This thing's in good condition, y'all. I think we're gonna try to restore it, so I'm trying to keep it in like pristine condition. Let's freaking go! <laughs> oh man, the top did not get squished. Oh yeah, baby. That thing's freaking awesome. And now we're gonna take another rope, tie it to the axles under there, and this is probably where we're gonna use the come along. We just got it all tied up under there. Now, hopefully we'll just be able to roll it right up the hill. Was it rolling up the hill? I'm scared it's gonna dig into the bank. That's a lot steeper than I thought it was. We're gonna get this thing, we just gotta retie, but we're gonna make sure that it doesn't roll back down. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna go slow. Ready, man? I am. This is the last pull. Let's do it. Where'd it break at? Oh yeah, it did have a fray right there. Well, I could try this one. This one's brand new. I know it ain't gonna break, but it's gonna pull it up sideways. We'll just try it. Dakota and I are gonna try to flip this, get that front facing that way, cause that back end is just digging in the bank and it's not going so hot for us right now. One, two, three. Okay, we got it now. This should pull it up now. All right, I didn't go to Boy Scouts. That was just the knot coming undone. Oh yeah, dude, we're gonna get this thing. As long as it doesn't bottom out. We need to get the wheels straight. I'm gonna back up, we're gonna make it happen. In order to hold our progress here, while I back up, I need to really take a lesson on how to tie knots. We're just gonna tie up this, this rope right here. All right, hopefully it goes up now. There she is. Let's go, baby, we got it. Let's go. We got it up. Oh, it's ours now. Let's freaking go, dude. So right now we're gonna push this thing all the way down this hill. And then I'm gonna pull it up the hill with the car once more time. And then we're gonna pull it in the trailer. One, two, three. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Ugh. Yo, we got it. Look at that beauty. We got the trailer in position. This might be one of the cooler things that's ever been in this trailer. Yeah, keep going. <sighs> Woo, perfect, baby. It can't fit more perfect in that trailer, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Bro, perfect. Now it needs to come more left. Little problem, uh, our trailer might be broke. Oh, yeah, watch out. You are lucky. Oh, there we go. Yep, pin slid. We can tie that up. Come along, did come in clutch. Last big lift. Are you ready? What? Hey, Gucci. I think we broke our trailer though. 
And that is gonna wrap up today's video. I appreciate y'all watching all the way to the end. If you guys have made it this far, comment golf cart down in the comments. This is definitely one of the craziest things I have ever found magnet fishing. We are off to a very, very good start in this new area and I'm very excited for tomorrow. Anyways, I will see y'all later. Peace.